uh, a lot of things happened as they showed Seth Rollins came out. He brought a chair and a microphone and got into the ring. Some about a year ago that he had a decision to make as he held onto the shield and how he dismantled the shield. And people talk about you sold out, but he bought in to become the best that this industry has ever seen. Because he got paired with those two chumps and stuff, but he moved on and went to the authority now. And talked about winning money in the bank. And then pretty much at the Royal Rumble, he had a vision. And pretty much he was able to pretty much beat Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns at the same time. And talk about a plan that had to be executed so perfectly that you have to have the courage and skill to do this. That he has slayed the beast and stole Roman Reigns' dream and stuff. And pretty much the beast is off licking his wounds and Roman Reigns lives in his shadow pretty much. And he's coming to SmackDown tonight. He doesn't have the title with him and he wants it back. And pretty much, you know, he appreciate what the Thor has done for him, but he doesn't need the help to take out Dean Ambrose and stuff. Until Ambrose got on the screen, talking about he's alive, a bad memory, and talking about the authority that you have all the time. I fought my way, everything they put in front of me, the deck stacked against, against them. He got and fought his way, scratched and clawed, and been surviving, you say, for the past year. Surviving. And, and pretty much Seth said he wanted the title, and, then he, and, and pretty much he told Seth he was living in a bubble and stuff, and Seth wanted the title back, and pretty much a good thing right there with both those guys, good promo. You know, Ambrose, you know, talking about he's been, you know, fighting against the, the grain, and even though people can the new Stone Cold Steve Austin, people are trying to say, and you know, Seth saying he didn't really need anybody's help. Triple Threat Tag Team Match for the number one contenders, Lucha Dragons versus Primetime Players versus The Ascension. Um, Primetime Players won. That match was alright. It wasn't much, so, um, it was like, whatever. So, yeah, the match was like, whatever now, so. But the Primetime Players won the match, and I guess they're going to the New Days for the titles, and pretty much the New Days talk about their opponents and talk about what they were going to do, and that. They have corrupt rates because they're for money and everything. So Kane came up and told Matt, you have a match tonight, Kofi. And it'll be against Adrian Neville. And pretty much they got mad and Kane told him have a fabulous day or a wonderful day or something. Right back to start Stardust. Star um, squash match. Dwight Howard was in the crowd. Um, as they brought up Renee Young, she talked to Paige. As Paige talked about the Bellas. Talking about, you know, they've been doing this twin match thing for years and these celebrities and talking about this whole give divas a chance thing which I don't care that I've said it before I give divas a chance and just straight up bullshit so nobody cares about that and talk about it was celebrity lifestyle and she was done they didn't fight her way into the ring and said you don't want to be in this world you can do you need the power to change it and and everything so Paige said her thing Harper and Rowan were in the back then talking about um you, he talked about the Reapers and everything, this family, he says, that we are, we're like, we're family, pretty much. And it's time for them, those guys to pay their sins. If this is a way of getting the Wyatt family back together, hopefully, because Bray Wyatt is doing nothing right now, just wandering. Michelle's Harper and Rowan, because they, it looks like these guys really couldn't survive on their own, so it's best they bring them back. Kevin Owens came out for the NXT Open Challenge, talked about, um, I don't need any introduction from Cole. I beat John Cena in my first match. And he talked about his kid, but he's seven, so it's understandable. But he says he's going to take out John Cena. He beat him Sunday, and he'll beat him again, money in the bank. And he's to hustle, loyalty, and respect, and never give up. He's going to lose again. He is nothing. He's just a delusional man, pretty much, as he talked about John Cena and talked about the rematch. And then he talked about the open challenge. And Mark Johnson, that is open. You know, I don't even have a watch, so whoever it is, come out in the locker room if you think it, you're tough enough to come at him. So, Zack Ryder came out. He pretty much destroyed Zack Ryder, pretty much. It was almost like a squash match anyway, so. And then he pretty much cannonballed and hit the pop-up power bomb again and destroyed him again, so. Yeah. Yeah, once again, Owens was great. Ah, Zack Ryder got destroyed, so he's doing his best out there. They talked to Seamus about money in the bank match, and nobody cares about Roman Reigns and all this stuff, so yeah. Adrian Neville against Kofi Kingston. It was pretty much a good match, and pretty much kind of outsmarted all the new day, kind of looking like chumps and stuff, so pretty much able to roll up on Kofi winning. 
Miz TV, which is ridiculous, whatever that hoodie like thing he wears on his head, whatever this new gear is, and he brought out Lana and tied this whole Lana Rusev Ziggler thing, and uh, she uh, he clapped for her for being like you know dumping him and, and stuff, and she cared for Rusev, but it was a business session, but he did, she did care for Rusev, and she wanted, uh, but she does not want to do him anymore. As Rusev came out as special guest and talked about you don't really have any anymore and stuff. It's all he wanted. He was stupid. This is how he was raised and everything. And he begged Lana to come back, give him one more chance, one more chance. But Lana said no and called her a cow, which was really funny in a way. They were like, you stupid woman cow. I'm like, why do you call her a cow? And it's like, it's like you want, it's like Rusev wants to call her a bitch, but you know they can't do it. And he keeps saying these weird words like cows and stuff. <laughs> he just sounds <laughs> a stupid cow. And I guess the crowd bought into it. And Ziggler came out and for some reason says, oh. Tyson Kidd shirt. And. Sorry, I was watching something on TV. But uh, pretty much, um. Ziggler came out and took Lana and they pretty much left me and as we got into the main event with Roman Reigns and Sheamus. Which the match was okay what it was is Kane and JJ Security came out, but it was DQ and Kane big booted Reigns and Choke Slam Sheamus and pretty much uh, he announced that he will be the final competitor in the money in the bank ladder match. So now there are seven men in the money in the bank ladder match, which is just all designed to mostly keep Reigns out of it really. So I guess they're just going to add Kane to stop Roman Reigns if he can. So now you have Orton, Sheamus, Kane, Roman Reigns, Adrian Neville, Kofi Kingston, and Dolph Ziggler. So that's pretty much it. So, so SmackDown was like, all right, tonight was what it was. Kane being money in the bank, I guess I'll go somewhere. So once again, you know it's me, it's me, they show the beacon, the news of views, and I know I do, sure I go. It's going down. We've now done just SmackDown. Check out live reactions of the Nation Chamber and all that. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace.